Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today we're taking a look at a very special weapon. We are looking at the Battle Spatula. Well, they call it the Bayonet Spatula, but I've been calling it the Battle Spatula. We are here in the spawner in Home Melee Bayonet Bayonet Spatula. There it is. We've got, well, it attaches to weapons and then you can use it as a melee weapon and maybe other stuff. Let's check it out. Let's see what the spatula will fit on. Let's start with pistols. All right, let's start with the 1911, of course. And yes, the spatula will fit on the 1911, no problem. Now let's go to a Bergman carbine. Yeah, it'll go on that Bergman carbine, no problem. How about a Jetfire 950? Whoops, come here, you. Yeah, that works just fine. Let me, let me give this Dardic a flip. <laughs> yeah, I can do it too, Jedi. All right, let's see what else we got. We got a Mark IV with suppressor. That works just great. Moving on. Gimme! Moving on. Let's try the Dardic revolver. Of course, the Dardic revolver. It was built for it. How about an RS-15? Yeah, that's the RS-15, isn't it? Yes, it is. Look at that. Beautiful. Pristine beauty. How about a Schofield brake action revolver? Look at that. Well, front brake, rear brake, whatever it is. Disc brake. Spatula brake is what it is. All right, what else we got? How about the Volcanic? Oh, that's a funky one. No, Volcanic will not go on there at all. No, no, well, we don't need you. Ah, hey, no, you gotta go. guys down. How about a Lee Enfield Obrez? Come on. Oh, really? You're a battle rifle. You gotta have a battle bayonet. How can you? No, really? Oh, screw you. All right, how about space? How about the compound pistol? No, well, we don't need you anyway. No, 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 get in. There we go. And a flintlock. No. Ah, uh, you're too fancy. Ah, Derringer. You know, or a close personal melee. Really? No? Seems like anything with two barrels or multiple barrels doesn't seem to work. All right, we got a sample of shotguns here. Let's see what we've got here. This is the IZH-18 12-gauge short single barrel. No? Ah, useless. How about KS-23? Yeah! Far more deadly in this configuration. Let's see what we got over here. How about a flare gun? Oh, you're missing out on a good opportunity, Mr. Flare Gun. Oh, well, how about the Taws? Taws? Taws, of course, gets the spatula action. Yes. Of course, a fine weapon like the Taws will have the spatula. How about the Cause? Are you down for the Cause? Yes. Fits perfectly on the Cause like it was built for it. 
fantastic. Look, look at that, it's beautiful. Great lines on the cause. Let's look at a classic. How about the MP5? Oh, certainly the MP5 is gonna work with the special. How about a little PDW like the Ketter? Let's see here. Yeah, yeah, Ketter will take it. This is a personal defense weapon, so it makes sense that it goes on personal defense weapons. How about a lever action? Yeah, no problem. Let's see if I can... Yeah, you can spin and sp yeah, look at look at how deadly that is with the spatula on there. Wow, wow, wow! Oh yeah, that is dangerous. Want to watch out? How about a quacking bush? Yeah, you can do it with the quacking bush too. Oh, but you can't spin the quacking bush. Oh well, well still it is deadly, deadly, deadly. And then you hit him with the coat hanger, boom, 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 and back back with the coat hanger. You can get him like that. A Draco AK, small cut down AK, but with the uh, spatula on there, super deadly. Let's try out some classic carbines and assault rifles. We got an SKS. What is this on the SKS? Oh, look. It's a pop-out bayonet. It's got one built in, fantastic, but it needs an extra one. So we're gonna put the spatula on there too. We're gonna get two for one double action. Yeah, now you got pointy and you got flattening. You got blunt and stabbing power on your SKS. That is handy. Let's move on, Let's grab another spatula here, and try our classic AKM. And of course the AKM is gonna work with a spatula, you know that's gonna happen. How about another classic? What's this one? Oh yeah, you remember that one. SDG 44, that'll work just fine with the battle spatula. And a G11, how about the G11? No, 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 well, see, this is why you were rejected. No bayonet battle spatula. Worthless. How about classic battle rifles? Let's look at a Madsen LAR, one of my favorite battle rifles. Let's see if this will take, yes, of course, it'll take a battle spatula. So now, it is fierce as can be in close combat as well as range. How about a precision sniper marksman? We got the Walther WA2000. Yeah, see, now you can snipe, and if they sneak up on you, spatulate. Anti-material rifles? Let's see here, we got the little whiz banger. Yeah, Whizbanger now has melee power as well as pointy pin crazy BMG power. All right, let's take a look at the NWT. Um, uh, um, let me, uh, hang on. Let me grab here and then get a, no, get a spatula. Thank you. Way out on here. And then, come on. Come on, you can, no, you gotta, come on. Gotta be a way. How is this worthless? Worthless.
How about an M60 light machine gun? Yeah, that'll go on there. Now you're really scary. How about the M134 portable minigun? Whoa. Yeah, there you go. Now we're ready for battle. <laughs> Mowing it down. Ah, it's not a Tuma. Yeah, all right. Mark 19 grenade launcher, eh? Yeah, well, can always use a bayonet on the end of it. In case you get in close, you gotta use melee. Good old potato cannon? Sure. Bella, bella, bella.